Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a walk through the primate house to view two of the zoo's residents. First we shall start with the smaller of the two primate species housed here, the Mesopithecus. Mesopithecus is an extinct genus of monkey which lived approximately 7 to 5 million years ago during the late Miocene period. It was first discovered during the first half of the 19th century and was named Mesopithecus in 1839, a name which means middle monkey. Its appearance was something similar to a modern macaque. It was fairly small at around 40 centimetres, that's about 16 inches long, and only weighed around 2.3 kilos, that's about 5 pounds. It lived in Europe and Western Asia, with many fossils being found in areas of Greece. It was adapted to both walking and climbing, possessing a slender body with long muscular arms and flexible fingers. It probably lived near the edge of woodland areas, able to climb trees and walk the plains. It probably fed similar to modern small monkeys, on a diet of leaves and fruit, but dental microwear patterns show it also ate lots of hard seeds. So moving on now to a much larger occupant of the primate house. This is the Gigantopithecus. In nature there are many benefits to being big. The dinosaurs did rather well and some of them were huge. But in the case of Gigantopithecus it may have been the reason for its extinction. But we'll come on to that a bit later. So how big was Gigantopithecus? Well this is actually very difficult to tell. So far the only fossils that have been found are some jaws and a few hundred teeth. There have been no skeletons or even skulls found. The first fossil discovered was actually discovered in 1935 when German paleoanthropologist Ralph von Konigswald walked into a pharmacy in Hong Kong and found an unusually large primate molar for sale. It was labelled as a dragon tooth, intended for use in traditional Chinese medicine. From these fossils it is difficult to put together an accurate reconstruction, but based on what we do know, the Gigantopithecus has been estimated to stand 3 metres tall, that's around 10 foot, and weigh from 540 kilos up to 600 kilos, that's approximately 1,200 pounds. Compare this to a gorilla which weighs up to 400 pounds. Although many reconstructions show it to stand upright, and here in Ark we can see it walking around on two legs. In reality it probably spent most of its time on all fours, walking on its knuckles like a gorilla or an orangutan, to which it is thought to be most closely related to. The teeth do give us a clue as to what the Gigantopithecus ate. The features of the dentation, large flat molars, thick dental enamel and a deep massive jaw indicate Gigantopithecus probably ate tough fibrous plants. More evidence came in 1990 when scientists placed samples of the ape's teeth under a scanning electron microscope to look for opal phyllolinths. These are microscopic silica structures that form in plant cells. Based on the types of phyloliths, the researchers found stuck to the teeth, they concluded that Gigantopithecus had a mixed diet of fruits and seeds from a kind of fig and some kind of grasses, probably bamboo. The combination of tough and sugary foods helps explain why so many of the giant ape's teeth were riddled with cavities. The numerous pits on Gigantopithecus teeth, a sign of incomplete dental development caused by malnutrition or food shortages, corroborate the bamboo diet. Bamboo species today periodically experience mass die-offs which affect the health of pandas. The same thing could have happened to Gigantopithecus. The location of the fossils that have been found have mostly been in China, Vietnam and India, indicating that Gigantopithecus's range was Southeast Asia. Dating methods have shown that Gigantopithecus existed for at least a million years, going extinct about 100,000 years ago. This time range means it lived alongside Homo erectus and later early Homo sapiens for tens of thousands of years. So why did Gigantopithecus disappear? As I mentioned earlier, it may have been all down to the size of this gigantic ape. An animal of this size needs to eat a large amount of food. At the time of its extinction, the climate had begun to change. It was becoming colder and drier. The forest habitat of Gigantopithecus was shrinking, becoming replaced with grassland savanna. Gigantopithecus was unable to adapt to eating the grass of this new environment, and so its food source gradually disappeared. 
Other smaller apes like the orangutan were better able to cope with food shortages and so were able to tough it out during hard times. The orangutan has a very slow metabolism and is able to cope with food shortages today. But an ape the size of Gigantopithecus would have had a much harder time of it. Well that's all we have for this week, thank you so much for watching and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Please come back next time for more here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.